Okay, he's been putting in some work. Feel me? Consistent amount of views is dope. You know, uh, word. So you guys, Pacific Sarge, check out Ron Suno, comedian, fake rapper. But see, look, look, look. Why do y'all feel like you can't be entertaining and be a gangster? You know what I'm saying? We just found out Kanye is GD. Uh, you know, people like 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 uh, the Chicago insider Javon. He been new uh, Kanye was GD. You know what I'm saying? So you know, maybe not everybody. You know, but you know, it's like Chica uh, Kanye is an entertaining person, right? So why can't why can't you be entertaining and also be a drill person that that'll kill you? You know what I'm saying? Like like it's okay to laugh. You know, I think that's that's the problem too. Like. Why do gangsters feel like they can't laugh and they can't joke around? They can't. Fabio Foreign is one of the funniest people in the music industry. Like I watch his interviews, the man is hilarious. Like every other word is bow movie. Like it's mad funny. You know what I'm saying? Like like I just I can't help but laugh. He has he has so much charisma without even trying. You know what I'm saying? Like like it's okay to break out of that like gangster shell. You know what I'm saying? Like and that's what gives you mainstream appeal. Like like I feel like as as fans and uh, I see you said stop him. I'm, I'm gonna put that in the. Uh, in the uh, search bar, and then I'll, I'll, I'll uh, look at it later. But um, yeah, like like I just don't get why people want people to just be so upset and angry all the time. You know, it's it's that's not gonna do anything for you. Like it's just gonna make you angry, and and it's gonna make people not want to book you. Like let's, like like I, I I like to talk about the behind the scenes of what's going on. You feel what I'm saying? Like I gave you all the behind the scenes earlier of the music industry trying to get me the f out the paint. It's like, bro, you want mainstream ap appeal. Like, if you just constantly kill people in songs, you're not going to be able to get booked for shows. Like, and these people want money. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to be able to get booked for shows. You're not going to be able to, to to change your life. You're just going to stay in the hood. You know what I'm saying? And, and people make music to get out the hood. You know what I'm saying? So, a uh, song called Stop Em, I got you. I, I put it in the uh, search bar. I'm, I'm going to listen to it a little bit later. But we're going to start transitioning to the Drake and Nicki Minaj topic, okay? So, so I'm going to start a whole series on the shorts and in the community tab, as well as on TikTok. If you guys also don't follow the EBM Music Media page on TikTok, you should definitely do that. Uh, it's going to be a whole lot more content coming up there. We got uh, over like 34K on there. Uh, they be, TikTok is one of the most sensitive, it's probably, I'm gonna say one of the most, TikTok is the most sensitive platform there is. So I had to really figure out the different content to bring to the, to, to the table because, bro, I posted a video of, of uh, Vince Staples saying that Ray J was a blood, and they stopped me from posting for like a week. It's just like, damn, bro, just because he said he was a blood, like bloods exist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't get it. I, I think TikTok is trying to hide the world from like things that exist, and I don't really get it. I posted a video of Ruby Rose where it was like, which version of this artist is better, the old or new version? Ruby Rose had her butt out. They took my whole video down and blocked me post for a week. It just didn't make any sense, but anyway. Now, TikTok is really going to be mainly the same stuff you see on the YouTube shorts and maybe some new stuff and, like, clips of the live streams and stuff like that. Uh, Ron Bozo, silliest rapper of all time. I don't, but I just don't get why he can't be silly. Like, please, you're, please tell me why an artist can't also have personality. Soldier Boy will shoot you. Soldier Boy will shoot you. You feel what I'm saying? But the man has personality. Like, why is it bad... I feel like we need to stop doing that as music fans. Stop making rappers feel like they can't be normal people. Like, why do they have to be gangsters all the, all the time? 50 Cent will shoot you. <laughs> 50 Cent will shoot you. But that man is hilarious. Like, I want my rappers to also not be so menacing. Like, because you know, you know what happens when you're too menacing? It makes nine gang members not want to go to your shows because they're afraid that the op might spin on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to make no money if every fan... Why do you think Quadro Rondo can't book no shows? They're afraid that they go to a show that someone going to spin on Quando. Even though it's been months, it's been almost a year since King Von died. Quando Rondo is still alive. And people still probably won't go to his shows because they're afraid that somebody going to spin him on at any moment. And who knows when it'll be okay for people to actually feel comfortable to go to his shows. It probably going to have to be at, like, a festival. He probably not going to be able to get booked for any personal Quando Rondo tour for a while. If In order for him to get back into the scene, he's going to have to do festivals and stuff like that. To where, like, it's assumed there'll be a lot of uh, security and, you know, it won't be, like, you know what I'm saying? But even then, like, behind the scenes backstage, people get effed up all the time. But but um, I believe there was a recent festival where there was hella people that, like, were beefing and nothing really happened. So, you know, 
I think it was rolling loud and nothing and nothing happened between people. So you know, it, like it could happen, but you know, it's like I don't think Quan Ross be able to do like a tour by himself for a minute because people don't want to go to a show where they feel like they might die. You know what I'm saying? Like who wants that? No one wants that for their life. You know what I'm saying? Like like oh, I went to the concert. I went to somebody's concert and I died that day. Like, who who wants that to be on a damn eulogy? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you have to know what you want out of this music industry. You know, know what you want out of your damn life, you know? Like, let's let rappers be themselves. Soldier Boy will shoot you. The man is hilarious. You know, like, would you rather Soldier Boy be hella gangster all the time? Like, no one wants that, you know? Like, like people just be too gangster for their own skin. Like, bro, like, laugh. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to laugh, bro. Like, it's okay to have personality and show and show who you are, like. I don't get why we chastise people like DDG and Ron Suno for, for, for having personality and being able to make multiple streams of income. Like, Ron Suno can be in a in a movie. Like, Ron Suno could be in a movie before somebody like K-Flock could be in a movie. Because K-Flock is just too gangster right now. He'll probably grow out of that gangster, like, super tough skin. Like, to the, you know, like, people like G Herbo get booked for shows now. At one point, that man was Lil Herb. Hella gangster, you know what I'm saying? Lean, sipping, pill, popping, you feel what I'm saying? And he was just too gangster for, for life, you know what I'm saying? But now he could laugh. People like 21 Savage was too gangster for life. And now he could laugh, he could joke, he could be on podcasts. Yes, yes, he actually shows his personality. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole different thing. Like, you, you don't want to be too gangster for life all the damn time. It's going to close hella doors for you, for real, for real. You can't be ludicrous, red man, Buster Rhymes anymore. The industry is pushing violence is no secret. That's a fact. The industry's always pushed violence, though. Um, but it's how you get out of it. And you have to also know what trajectory. That's like, like I said, I mean, like I just mentioned 50 Cent. Like, 50 Cent, you know, been pushing violence. All these rappers been pushing violence, honestly. It's just about having a trajectory and a thought process to know I can't push violence forever. Like, it's not going to work for me forever. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, even people to that, that Drew Rappers you're looking up to nowadays is people like Chef G. I think Chef G is making a great example. That yes, he came up doing mainly drill music, like like play for the members and and like you know just really aggressive songs. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he still does aggressive songs because you know uh, he may, he makes great aggressive music. You know what I'm saying? So he shows he still should to do that. You know, but then he can also make a song like Moody, or he can make a song like Mistakes. He can come out. He can he can be melodic. He can come out. He can be personal. He can come out. He can he can he can actually touch your soul. And and uh, reach a different part of your brain that you probably didn't think he can even he can even reach and, and 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 relate to you know because everybody can't relate to the whole like being a gangster you feel what I'm saying like and I feel like that's what hip hop industry also doesn't understand like everybody don't relate to being a gangster you feel what I'm saying more people that listen to hip hop are not gangsters you feel what I'm saying why also goes to the fact that people still listen to six nine or if anybody I'm not even six nine bro. If anybody snitches, bro, a lot of the hip-hop fans don't care because more fans are not gangster than fans that are gangster. You feel what I'm saying? And the ones that are not gangster are the ones that are buying the tickets. You feel what I'm saying? Gangster people are more like not, not going to buy tickets to shows. They might stream your song on YouTube, but this is just facts. You feel what I'm saying? Herb is not like that for real. <sighs> hey, I ain't say that. <laughs> that wasn't me, Herb. <laughs> Mr. Mr. G Herb, I ain't say that. Herbert was a hooper that ran with the wrong crowd. Polo Mimo, not like that, bro. Hey, man. Polo dropped the rakes at BMAs. Like I said, I'm a supporter of music, man. I can only look at this stuff from, from the outside in. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but if you drop your rakes on cam at an award show, I feel like you like that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Once again, all these things are really done for the fans and supporters that don't know what's going on behind the scenes. I don't know if the person gangster or not. I will never test any of the gangsters. You feel what I'm saying? I posted in the in the community chat. If you would test so and so gangster, just to see what y'all think, cause cause some of y'all would really go and test these people's gangsters. You feel what I'm saying? I'm good. I'm not testing none of these people's gangsters at all. You feel what I'm saying? At all. I'm cool. You feel what I'm saying? Let's 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 choose peace. You feel what I'm saying? But I do it just to show, just to see what y'all would do and and what y'all be thinking. I don't want to test not a person gangster at all. Let's be peaceful. You feel me? But there's people that would be out here testing G Herbal Gangster, test Kanye Gangster, check Polo G Gangster. You feel what I'm saying? But I mean, hey, people tried to test Polo Mom Gangster, and Polo Mom had it on him. You feel what I'm saying? People say that little dirt not like that. When they ran up in his crib, him and India had the scraps, and they was ready to blow. Bah! He tried to rob, I had to blow. No saying no came wrong. You feel me? Is Kanye for real a GD or faking? Javon Smith, the, the Chicago insider, said that Kanye been jacking Hoover. 
Trump should have free Larry. F is wrong with dude. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Javon the Chicago insider, he said he said Kanye been jacking GD. So, you know, it seems like this is, this is factual. You feel me? Herbo got a song with K Flock. They was just doing a video. That's a fact I did mention that earlier. So K Flock is definitely getting some more uh, mainstream looks. So shout out to K Flock. He's coming up in the world as he should. You feel what I'm saying? Keep making your way up the mainstream ladder and then also start to diversify the content. You feel me? People like G Herbo, once again, whether or not he's he gangster or not, once again, I don't know. I ain't from the rack. It seems like you know all the insider information on all the Rackians. You feel what I'm saying? All the shy Rackians. I don't. I ain't from the rack. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, I can tell you some things about people like like Bobby Schmurter. Bobby Schmurter really like that. I ain't gonna hold you. You know what I'm saying? Roddy Rebel is really like that. <laughs> a lot of these New Yorkers is really like that. You feel what I'm saying? Pop Smoke is really like that. You know what I'm saying? Chef G is really like that. Two two G's. I'm not too sure, but I think he's really like that. So it's like you know, once again, that's what it is. You could probably tell me more. I ain't from the rack. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, G Herbo, give me. I'm like that, Bobs. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. You feel what I'm saying? G Herbo give me I'm like that, Bobs. Uh, just telling you, fam, 6ix9ine drove the old block. He is like that. It's just entertainment. He is like that. It's entertainment. I don't know if 6ix9ine like that or not, but 6ix9ine 9 has been to like Rikers Island in jail before and stuff like that. 6ix9ine like, was like, 6 9 from New York as well. 6ix9ine was a rambunctious kid. Like, he went to, like, I know people that went to school with him and stuff like that. Like, 6ix9ine like, was a rambunctious kid. But he does do a lot of stuff for entertainment. And that's why I take a lot of it as entertainment. All these rappers that say just take it as entertainment, I listen to them face value. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you did it or didn't do it. But if you make it sound good in a song, I may believe you. If you don't make it sound good in a song, then I'm probably not going to believe you. You know what I'm saying? Life is about believability, especially in the hip-hop music industry. It's about believability. I ran under the real Dirk. I just happened to know. I ran under the real Dirk. Are you are you referring to his father? Big Dirk? Is that the real Dirk? You feel what I'm saying? Um, but I, all I know is, you know, at least